Artists have been using algorithms to create masterpieces for decades. But over the years, they have pushed the boundaries with computing art. For many artists today, data has become their paintbrush, changing the way we experience art. Computing art is taking the world by storm, and I'm here to show you how. Over here, there are 70 digital artworks by more than 30 artists from around the world. They range from the pioneers of 1960s to today's emerging voices. Called Immaterial Rematerial, this exhibition traces the past, present and the future of computing art. Hi, Era. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Now, first, talk to us. What is computing art? Computing art is an art making that um, actively engages with algorithm and also the generative logics that under the field of computing. It is not short-lived art movement. It will be an entire artistic language. Chinese internet users have reached 940 million, equivalent to one-fifth of the global internet users. This is a trend hard to ignore. Technology will be one of the most popular art medium in the future. The exhibition shows how computing art has progressed over the years. From using algorithms to create drawings and paintings, to using machines to tell a story in video form, to even manipulating light. So now we are stepping into uh, Les Pesanley. It is one of the earliest pieces about generative art. You can blow it to the sensor. It's a set of nine deadlines, and when you blow to the sensor, they fly away. To see uh, one of the most important interactive pieces, Homo Insects, created by Christian Laurent. So you can see the digital ends come out and depict our portraits. Wow, that's <laughs> really fascinating. So, okay, I'm gonna try waving my hands. Waving our hands. Moving beyond traditional mediums, artists now play with interactive installations and machine learning techniques. Artificial intelligence, for example, has become the ideal assistant for artist Michel Paysant, who's able to realize his visual dreams by using an eye tracker connected to an industrial robot equipped with a calligraphy brush. My project, Eye Calligraphy, is a uh, project between art and science. Eye tracking is a technique, a way to uh, record our eye movements and uh, robotics allows me to replace my body and my arm. For the performance, I moved my eyes in Paris and 8,000 kilometers away in China, in UCCA, a robot began to paint, reproducing faithfully and in almost in near real time. It's a collaborative, transcontinental new way of creating drawing. Tell us how important is AI in your work? AI is a uh, tries to simulate intelligence. It must be lived as an experience, a sensitive collaboration, certainly which tends towards autonomy, but between humans and AI systems. I'm the generator. The machine has no autonomy. I want the machine to, to be the mirror of my mind, my movements. Thanks to computer programming and interface technology, we get to see a new vision of the world. But how will these technologies reshape art in the future? They are changing the perspectives of art artists, how they look at the world, how they create. New technologies, I mean, only interesting if at the same time, they help us better understand our world. My position as an artist is to be uh, really creative with these technologies. A work of art, even made with those technologies, has to offer the visitor in the museum the ability to, to develop a critical mind, 
to space for thought. The art is a question of commitment, of motivation to positively change the world.